Hello everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. I know I certainly am. It's beautiful. Much cooler weather since the last time I live streamed. Here with my lovely two daughters again. I've got my littlest one on my chest. Snooting, see if I can get a good good angle at her face. There's a little eye. Hello. She's just kind of sleeping. And then my firstborn's just kind of exploring the park a little bit. Say hello, Brenna. He's say hi. He's say hi. Yeah, why don't you go play with some of this playground equipment over here? Swings and slides and all kinds of cool stuff. So, yeah, just figured I'd get on here, do another live stream. Thank you all for, for hopping in here. I really appreciate it. Um, as the title says, the goal is to uh, discuss chemistry topics. So whatever chemistry topics you want to throw my way, definitely happy to discuss them. Or even if you want to talk about non-chemistry stuff, that's cool too. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, so give you a little bit of an update from things on my point of view in just a couple of minutes. And hello. Are you making a video? I'm doing a live stream. Uh, You're not on it. I'm, it's pointing at me. <laughs> yeah, There's a uh, young man here that's very interested in, in what we're doing. <laughs> hey, Brenna. Say hi. So yeah, feel free to uh, drop a message in the chat, talk about whatever you want. Um, I would prefer discussing chemistry topics, but anything is on the table, whatever you guys want to talk about. Snapchat? No, it's for YouTube. You know YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. No, 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 YouTube. T-U-B-E, like the website. You know, like the big uh, red thing with the white little triangle on it? YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, that's what it is. Not, not Snapchat. I don't have a Snapchat. This young man is very, very interested in what we're doing. Um, so yeah, whatever you guys want to talk about, we can talk about it. Um, other than that, yeah, just hanging out, waiting for people to come in. <laughs> Got a very uh, interesting setup here. Plenty of combinations. We have a, a bunny head a bunny belly and a cow bottom. You have a choice between a bunny, cow, and a kangaroo. So now we have a cow head, a bunny belly, and a kangaroo bottom. And it looks like Brenna is on the move. Let me go catch up with her. Quite a few kids here today at the park. I will get you. <sighs> Got all this playground equipment here, and Brenna is interested in this puddle. All this playground equipment and the puddle is the interesting aspect of it for her. So, <laughs> yeah, isn't that so much fun with the puddle? Watch out, Eli! Be careful! Be careful! All right, hey guys. Hey. Oh, it looks like somebody hopped in here and then left, but. Eli, I'll work on my retention. Boys, come here. Right now. What did I just tell you? I told you not to go to the So earlier this week, I, uh, AR-77, hey, welcome back, man. He says, hey, hey, how you doing? Um, earlier this week, I uploaded a video. It was a, uh, a precipitation, a, a double replacement or, you know, precipitation type problem. And it was like a complete solution to the problem from the very beginning to the very end, explaining all the steps along the way. Um, so if anybody needs any help with that kind of, with that topic, precipitation reactions, which would include uh, molecular equations, complete ionic equations, net ionic equations, I would I would appreciate any feedback on that. If anybody um, wants to see that, I would definitely recommend uh, watching it. Um, AR77 asks, how's my day going? Uh, day's going pretty well. Going pretty well. Um, I went to a store to get some lumber. Uh, turned out the store was closed, and I was stupid enough not to check the hours before I left. So... <laughs> That's on me, but uh, yeah, I'm um, doing pretty well. I got both of my daughters here, including my littlest one right here. I'll see if I can get a good look. Here she is. This is baby Charlotte passed out, just KO'd. And then Brenna is just kind of entertaining herself in this puddle here. You got all this 
playground equipment all over the place. But the puddle is like the selling point for her. <laughs> so, yeah, day's going pretty well. How are you doing? I'd love to know how you guys are doing. Not just you, are AR-77, but to the other two people in here. Looks like I got three concurrent viewers. Um, so I want to know how all three of you are doing. I also wanted to bounce an idea off of you guys. Um, hopefully, Brenna will sort of migrate to a less populated area. Normally, I like when she plays with a lot of kids, but in terms of live stream, like, I don't want to... I don't want the audio to come clear. Um, maybe next time I'll actually use my uh, lavalier microphone and plug that in. Maybe you guys can hear me better and the wind won't be as like strong on the audio and this and that. But, uh, gonna switch it back to me. Hey, here I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep, definitely um, gonna give a couple of updates on what's going on with me. Um, some exciting things. Coming into the fold pretty soon, I think. Um, sending some emails back and forth with somebody um, about something new, potentially, uh, for the channel that I've never done before. So that's really, really cool. Yeah, and uh, yeah, a lot of updates. Well, not a lot, but a couple of updates that I want to get, uh, provide to you guys. But, you know, I want to give it a few more minutes, allow the possibility for other people to get in here. And we can talk about it. So, oh, looks like a fourth just jumped in here. Hello, how are you? How's it going? Hello, Brenna. You gonna go down the slide? Oh, she's about to do it. You gonna go down that slide? You gonna do it? We. Wow, that was faster than normal. Good job, baby girl. Very good job. But anyway, um, so yeah, I guess I'll uh, start with a, sort of a logistical slash family update. Um, starting today, tonight, my uh, in-laws, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my wife's parents, they are coming to town. They'll be with, they'll be in town for a couple of weeks. And uh, so yeah, in-laws in town for a couple of weeks, and they're going to be probably sleeping in the room that I normally use to shoot my videos. So I'm going to have to figure out how to coordinate that because I still want to shoot. I don't want... Brenna, come on. Come on. Sorry, I have to intervene here with my daughter and get her off the slide. Another kid's trying to use it. Brenna, you can't... See, here's, here's the issue, is that Brenna is attempting to climb up the slide, which she can normally do. She can normally do it, but since she's been splashing around in a puddle her feet are slippery which is disabling her from climbing up the slide and it's really frustrating her so uh yeah just a, a sort of personal family logistical update on my end in-laws are going to be in town for a couple of weeks um that might somewhat hinder my ability to shoot and to record and to work on my youtube channel um but on the flip side oops on the flip side you know because they're here they'll be able to help with the kids and so i'll probably be able to yeah that'll actually help me produce content more so Brenna, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna go down that slide? There she goes. I, I don't know if you're gonna do it though. Are you gonna chicken out? There she goes. Wee. So uh, that's one update. Um, so we'll see what happens on that. Um, as always, your uh, feedback is is always appreciated. And any questions that you have, any topics that you want to discuss, um, I would be thrilled to hear them. And I would love to make a video. on uh, two streams ago, I think it's like the, not the last stream that I did, but the stream prior to that. Um, I'm going to have to help her get up this slide. I uh, asked you guys what you wanted to see in terms of topics, and I wrote down, I had a Word document open, and I wrote down a list of uh, topics for you guys. And um, so I'm just going to start, start banging out videos related to those topics. Um, the other thing is recently... Recently on the community tab of my channel page, uh, I put out a poll asking, you know, among five different topics, what you guys wanted to see, right? So one topic was bonding, uh, which I'm currently in the middle of, uh, which would include like, you know, Vesper theory, valence bond theory, molecular orbital theory. Um, another topic was, uh, you know, solutions, molarity, molality, parts per million, you know, concentration units, things like that. Um, probably, I think Rowlett's law would be in there, all this other stuff. Uh, the other topic was um, chemical kinetics and equilibrium. 
So kinetics, you know, how fast reactions occur, equilibrium is sort of how far the reactions proceed when the forward and reverse re reaction rates are the same. Um, and then acids and bases. I think those are all, all of the topics that I, uh, that I um, included on that poll. Oh, my daughter just fell on her face. I have to intervene here for a second. Hang on. Hang on. It's okay, baby girl. Come here. It's okay. Yeah, she's a little upset, so I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna step away, maybe get some shade. And, uh... You know... Unfortunate, you know, because... She doesn't know, she doesn't really understand the concept of, like, friction and the fact that water has a very low... Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. See? We're here. Look, there's Brenna right there. It's okay. So, yeah, she just, while she was trying to climb up the slide and fell forward. So, what I was saying uh, a moment ago was... That poll that I issued of what you know, what chemistry topic do you want to see? If you want to, uh, if you're interested, please feel free to participate in that poll. Um, I would appreciate it. It gives me more data, kind of lets me know what direction I should go in. Hang on, I gotta put this down for a second. It's challenging right now because Brenna wants to be in my arms on my chest, but I've already got a newborn on my chest and I only have one chest, so it's okay. It's okay. The joys of being a parent, I tell you what. <laughs> a lot of uh, exciting, challenging things. Plus, I'm trying to keep this freaking phone held up. Maybe I can sort of prop it up against this bag here. Hang on. I can use both hands. There we go. It's okay, Brenda. You want to come up here with that guy? Here, let's come up here with Dada. See, it's okay. You're going to share your chest with your sister. How does that sound? Look, look at that baby girl. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Look, your baby Charlotte, your baby sister is right here. Ah. Ah, too. Well, she's not in the mood to discuss that, so. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for bearing with me so far. <laughs> uh, Sai Suni says, you forgot quantum spin, sir. What do you mean? Uh, I don't think I forgot it. I think I included it when I did that stream. If I haven't gotten around to it yet, that doesn't mean that I forgot about it. It just means, you know, look, look at me. You know, I'm a father of two. I got a full-time job. So I fully intend on making a video on uh, electron spin, but, you know, I, it's just, it takes time. Also, that wasn't the top video in the sense that that wasn't the top topic in the sense that uh <clears throat> oh forgot to, oh so so by okay I, I see what you're saying now so what you what you're saying is that i didn't include it in the poll right and the reason why i didn't include it in the poll is because it's a very specific topic i wanted to keep it more general to get better data and the um when you when you issue a poll when you create a poll um, on your YouTube channel, you're only limited to you're limited to only five options. You can only have five polling options. You can't like choose an unlimited. So if I if I was able to choose like unlimited options or create unlimited options, then I would have included quantum spin in that. Uh, but because I was limited in my the number of uh, poll options I could put up there, and also um, because you know I wanted to keep it general to sort of get better data and more participation. Um, those are the, to the topics that I chose, but uh, I haven't forgotten about it. I, I still have, um, I still have the work document that I created a couple of weeks ago, so um, I haven't forgotten about it. I just um, am asking for your um, your patience, and I and I do appreciate your follow up and, and thank you for your support. So, very very good question. So that blows up everyone's mind. Yeah, I mean honestly, man, like <laughs> I have to go back and, and look at it to to take another look at it to sort of give a like to, to be able to give like a more um, thorough explanation of it. Cause like, you know, when I was studying back in college, this was like, you know, eight to 10 years ago, you know, you get so deep in it and then, you know, it's just impossible to remember everything. If, especially if you're not like, 
you know, if you don't go into a job where you apply it, you just learn it, you take a test on it, and then, you know, it's like not all of that information really like sticks well, especially because it's so abstract and just counterintuitive to the way that we normally, you know, experience the world. You know, quantum things are just like they require you to think in a way that, you know, you just you're not used to. You know, it's so it's it's kinda hard to wrap your mind around it. So electron spin those concepts that I, I don't know. I, I personally believe very few people actually really intimately understand it. So all right Brenna. You're gonna just go down slides, like don't try to climb them, because that's what happened is you tried to climb a slide and you had slippery shoes and you fell on your face and it looked like it hurt and I'm really sorry, but let's uh, learn our lesson and you know adjust our strategy accordingly. So anyway. Somebody typed a message. It says, no problems being enjoy your lectures. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. Ooh, you got me a, what is it, an acorn? Oh, no, it's like a piece of an acorn. Wow, thank you. Oh, no, it's a booger. Oh, my goodness. She just picked a booger out of her nose and wiped it on me. Wow. I have the most, the best mannered daughter out of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Part of being a parent, you know, sometimes you just gotta deal with stuff that's gross. But anybody who, anybody in here who's also a parent, I'm sure you would understand that. So, all right, time to see what the little one is gonna do now. Uh, let's see. Let's switch my camera. Yep, she's right back to the puddle. Let's take a closer look. Brenna, Ow, I just banged my head on the top of that thing. Freaking hurt. Are you enjoying your time in that puddle? I hope you're having fun, but just don't try to climb the slide again, otherwise you'll get a face full of slide. Nobody wants that. I know you don't want it. So I'm gonna climb up out of here. Second. Ugh. Anyway. So I ask again, how are you guys doing? What kind of topics do you want to discuss? Yeah, looks like a couple of my people left. A couple of my viewers left. Um, okay. Uh, I got a message from Avadut Jad and Jad Jadawar. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. I, I say I know I say that all the time. That must be annoying to you guys right by now. If you're if you're a multiple like you know continual watch viewer of my content, but um, I'll just call you. Uh, AJ. AJ asks, are you going to prioritize the topics in the polls in sequence for a future or doing the popular? Um, I haven't really decided yet. I mean, it just so happens that like, so like traditionally the way that I've been uh, doing my, my content is I've been, um, I've been basically doing them from like one, one cover. Brenna, we can't, we can't climb that. Sorry, but your, your shoe, your feet are too slippery. We can't climb that. We have to do something else. I'm sorry. If you if you want to climb the slide, you can't splash in a puddle three minutes before. I'm sorry. You can climb up, like the stairs, but don't climb up the slide. Um, so sorry, I got a little uh, off track there. So what I was just saying is like the way that I've historically been making my content is like from beginning to end of my chemistry textbook. Um, so where I am right now in that sort of sequence is chemical bonding. So if I were to continue doing it, you know, from start to finish of my chemistry textbook, um, it just so happens that that would be, you know, the topic that most people want to see discussed. Because if you look at that poll, there are more votes for chemical bonding than there are the other four topics. Um, like it's not even close. Like I think like the, the votes that I got for chemical bonding is like double the, the topic that has the second most votes. So um, probably gonna, publish a lot more chemical bonding videos pretty soon too um but gonna jump, gonna climb. <laughs> okay she's not climbing good 
I don't want to see her bust her face again. That was not pleasant. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do. At re uh, like, so, so the way I see it is that there's like two ways that I can do the videos. There's the, you know, the way that, you know, the, like there's a green screen behind me and there's lots of, uh, you know, images um, edited in. There's, there's a lot of jump cuts. There's a lot of this and that. Um, Brenna, you want to go on the other slide? A lot of editing, a lot of images, a lot of production. Um, and then the other way uh, that I've started restarted doing recently is like a camera pointing down on a whiteboard while I'm talking through it, right? Um, so I think that what I can do is those types of videos, right? The videos that, uh, that are like highly produced, right? Those are the videos that I can do either sequentially or um, according to the poll results, which right now they're the same thing, right? Um, and then the other type of videos, right, where, where there's a camera pointing down on a whiteboard, um, I can do by request. So if somebody asks for a specific topic, a specific question, you know, something really uh, specialized, um, then I can make a, one of those videos on it fast. Like I can do them pretty quickly after I get the request. That's the plan, that's the, that's the goal. Um, like for instance, somebody recently left me a comment, you know, what if the problem looks like this? And my, my latest video was a response to that comment. You know, I literally responded to his comment and answered his question um, in the form of an entire like 20 minute, I can't remember how long the video was, but it was a long video because it was a, a big problem that had like a lot of topics in it. So it looks like somebody may have sent me a super chat. Offspring Freak says, I'm attempting to teach myself chemistry. Uh, it is challenging, but your early videos really help. I may have questions in the future for you. Thanks for your time. Get the little one a treat for me. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. And um, I would encourage anybody who's in the mood. Uh, it's kind of the holiday season coming up. If anybody is uh, uh, in the mood to uh, support the channel, super chats are a great way to do it. Um, if you don't know what super chats are, uh, super chat is basically a message that you send attached to a monetary donation. And the message stays, at, it, it gets pinned to the top in this pretty color. <laughs> and it gets pinned to the top of the chat for a duration of time that is proportional to the amount of money donated. So that means you donate more money, your message stays up for a longer period of time. So uh, thank you again so much um, for the Super Chat Offspring Free. You are the man and I will certainly, um, you know, I'm available, you know, I will make myself as available as I can to answer your questions. Um, there's a lot of ways to contact me. You can send me an email, um, which you can find my email address on my YouTube channel. Um, you can uh, hit me up on Discord. I can't remember if you're in my Discord server or not, or if we're you know, friends with each other on Discord, um, but that's a way to contact me. Uh, I also have, uh, I also have um, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Like there's so many different ways by which you can get in touch with me. So I would encourage, um, you know, anytime you need help with anything, you know, reach out. And also, you know, I would applaud you for teaching yourself chemistry. I mean, that, you know, like we're still kind of stuck in this, you know, as a society, we're still sort of stuck in this like traditional uh, thing that's really not efficient anymore. Like this whole, um, you know, you go to university, you pay all this money in tuition for a professor that isn't even really motivated to teach most of the time. They're motivated to do research, which a lot of times there's like an inverse relationship between how good of a researcher you are and how poorly of a teacher you are. So you pay all this money to be taught chemistry by someone who isn't passionate about it, probably sucks at it, and a lot of people get get turned off from their dream career. They they decide to you know to abandon their dream career because they have a professor that sucks, you know, and that's you know that's terrible. So um, so definitely congrats to you and uh, and I applaud you very much for teaching yourself chemistry. And I would love. Um, to be, I know you said in your super chat, um, again, thanks for the super chat. I know you said that, uh, you know, I was a, 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 a big part of that early on. So um, I'm happy to continue to be a big part of that. Just, uh, you know, hit me up. Um, like I said before, I am a father of two with a full-time job. So my response rate may not be super, super fast, but that's not a deal breaker. Sometimes, sometimes I, I can respond quickly. Like, you know, lately, whenever somebody leaves a comment, I usually, uh, I usually respond to, you know, if somebody asks me a question in the form of a comment or just says something nice, you know, if somebody just says something nice, like, hey, this video is awesome, then I will, uh, you know, generally within 24 hours or less, uh, reply to the comment saying, you know, thanks for your kind words and this and that. Um, and if it's a question, you know, within 24 hours, I, I really, really am trying really hard now to, uh, to answer all questions that come my way. Um, but, you know, the, the one that recently, the comment that the guy left me, it was just like a perfect sort of question. It was like a perfect, uh, you know, softball that he sort of 
tossed at me to, to be able to make this big video on, or this long video on uh, precipitation reactions, so, so I did. Um, and, you know, if anybody wants to watch that, give me some feedback, tell me what's good about it, tell me what sucks about it. Um, I'd love to hear it. So, uh, AR-77 says, yeah, I miss the practical experience these days. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Could you uh, elaborate on that? Oh, there's a couple of me uh, message uh, previous to that. Offspring Freak says he doesn't uh, have Discord, doesn't work, but, but there's, yeah, there's other options. I have Skype too. Um, ben the Pretend Chemist is my is my username on Skype. Um, college, or Offspring Freak says college isn't efficient. I enjoy going deep into each chapter. Uh, only downfall is the lab stuff I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, but a lot of lab stuff, like if you're if you're able to get a job, you know, like most of the lab stuff, you just kind of relearn on the job. So if you don't have much lab experience, um, you know, you can get it on the job if you get hired somewhere. Um, but I, I, I do understand, like having that hands-on experience. Like I'm a real I'm a real hands-on learner myself, so I know what you mean. Um, but yeah, that that is kind of the one advantage to universities is that they. You know they have a lot of resources you know they have uh expensive instruments you know they have lots of chemicals they have lots of glassware um they have a lot of money so yeah i, I mean college in general nowadays like unless you absolutely need to go to college like if you want to become like you know a scientist or you know like a doctor lawyer pharmacist something like that where like there's a government mandate that you have to you know go to this school for x amount of years and you know be accredited and all that and unless unless there's an actual um you know real constraint you know don't go to college <laughs> you know if you're studying like you know journalism like you could you know you could create a name for yourself on the internet and develop a following and promote and you know bypass getting a journalism degree like you don't need to study in college you know or, or if you're or if you're studying one of these things like you know you know gender studies or women's studies or anything that ends in the word studies like that is a complete waste of time and money and i think honestly degrees like that actually make you less employable than you were before you went to college why because well first of all um typically people who graduate with these degrees have a lot of debt which means that they need to ask for more money in the form of their salary when they get hired so a lot of employers prefer to employ people without college degrees because they can pay them less and they can get more take-home money because they're not paying off a bunch of college debt and also um i just don't think that these uh these programs you know these underwater basket weaving you know as Dave Ramsey would put it, if you have never heard of Dave Ramsey, I'd recommend checking him out. He's really good. Dave Ramsey uh, talks about how people get degrees in uh, left-handed puppetry or uh, or German polka history. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get to a point where I'm not. There we go. It's always a challenge to get to a point where I'm not in the shadow talking to you guys. I'm not very good at that. But um, anyway, so uh, yeah, college is is. I think I think universities are sort of riding on their coattails from the past. I think they're they're. You know, they're sort of capitalizing on the reputation that they used to have for, you know, for, for providing value to society and, and you know, go, like they're, they're just letting anybody in now, you know, like there's so many people who are getting into college who like one generation ago, like would have never gotten in. There used to be like exclusivity. It used to be like, you know, only four people who had a, a level of intelligence and work ethic that was like way above average. But so I think Brenna's trying to crash this party here. Hey, Brenna. I don't think we're invited. I don't think we're on the guest list, Brenna. I don't think we're invited. I know. I know. Balloons are fun. We'll get you one on the way home. I know. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> no, Brenna, this does not belong to you. It's important to understand what doesn't, what belongs to you and what doesn't. Yeah, I know. It's fun. Come on, Brenna. This isn't, we have to go. Can you say happy birthday? Roll balloon. Oh wow! Here, let me um. Long enough string. I can tie. I can tie it to to loop around here. Thank you so much. Say no thank you. You want balloon? Yeah, you've opened up Pandora's box without yeah. offering one. Now you got to offer them all. Right? Thank you. Uh, How was the baby? Oh, she's good. She's old and she was born three weeks ago. Wow. Yeah, she's uh. Giving mommy some some well-deserved alone time at the moment. <laughs> um, all right, Brenna, ready? Here, you release it. It's gonna float away. There you go. All right, I got the camera back. <laughs>
Yay, yeah, you have a balloon now. Check it out. Come on, baby girl. Let's get off of their... Let's stop crashing their party. They were nice enough to give you a balloon. Let's respect their privacy. Come on. Come on, baby girl. Thanks again. Appreciate it. No problem. Whoever's birthday is, tell them I said happy birthday. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put the camera back on me. Anyway. Um... What was I talking about? I think I was just talking shit about universities. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty good at that, I think. Um, I don't know. But, I, I, you know, I, I've already addressed this in another video, too, another live stream uh, that I clipped. Um, it was called Why, Why I Dislike Academia. And, uh, you know, I just... I, it's all, all the answers to the, the question of why I dislike academia are in that video, so I don't want to dredge the whole thing up again. Let me bring up the chat in case anybody... Message me. Let's see. Ayan Hassan says, thank you so much for posting these videos. I'm from Canada. Your videos really help with grade 11 chem. You deserve so many more viewers. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks. Um, Canada's a nice place. I, I've been to Canada once. I went to a uh, crazy story. I actually drove all the way from uh, Orlando, Florida, which is at the very bottom <laughs> east sort of corner of the, of the United States. I drove all the way from down there all the way to Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Very, very long drive. Um, so it was pretty crazy. I didn't realize, and it was during the winter too, so it was like, really, it was like a really cold winter. It was like the winter of uh, 2017. Very, very cold winter. Um, I didn't realize, but the windshield wiper fluid that they sell in Florida does not have a very low uh, freezing point. So when we drove from Florida to Canada, our entire reservoir of windshield wiper fluid froze. So we couldn't squirt the fluid, the windshield wiper fluid onto our windshield and all the snow and salt and stuff would just collect and make it really difficult to see. It was really dangerous. So definitely learn my lesson, we'll be doing that again. Um, some new messages in chat. Um, but yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for your kind words, man. I appreciate it. Much love from, uh, from down south in the USA. Um, Yash says, hello, Ben, congratulations. Oh, thanks, man, I appreciate it. Assuming you're talking about this one here. Let's see if I can get a good look at her. I don't know, it's kind of bright out here. I'm not really in a good angle sunwise. Oh, no! Oh, no! The balloon! It fell away! It flew away! Oh, no! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, man. This is the first time this has ever happened. I think we all kind of remember as a kid. You know, when we had a helium balloon and we let go of it and it floated away, and it's just such a heartbreaking experience. And I'm capturing it on live stream right now. I'm sorry, baby girl. I'm sorry. You want to go home soon and get some lunch? I am so sorry. She was holding a balloon and it floated away, and she is just devastated. Too bad. That's why I tied it around her wrist, and then, you know, she, uh, she took it off her wrist and then see what happens. Sorry, Brennan, they're not going to give you another one. That was it. Um, let's see what else we have. Yash says, also, I like to share. I've begun college study computer science. Good for you, man. Good for you. Good luck with that. Um, A-N-S-H, Ansh, um, Ansh, says, please teach ionic equilibrium. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, you're suggesting, you're, you're, uh, your request has been noted, and I'll get to it um, as soon as I can. Thank you. Thank you for your suggestion. Ionic equilibrium. Brennan, you can't uh, you can't get another balloon. What's up, dude? Oh uh, yeah, I saw the balloon. Yeah, she lost it. Way up there. I see it right now, actually. Yeah. Hey, message from. What's up? That's yeah. That happened to me too. I was like five years old. I got a balloon and then I let go of it for like one second. It floated away, and I was really upset. It took me. It took me like over an hour to get over it. What's up, dude? Last time I had I had a Batman one, and somehow McKinley, my friend, she she let go of it and and it went all the way up there and it was rolling down there. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, I don't. Um, Come on, Brenna. You, you can't get another one. Uh, I think I'm going to have to wrap this up soon because uh, it's hard to control everything right now. My uh, 
daughter is in a tizzy because she her, lost her balloon. I have other children coming up to me because they see that I'm holding a selfie stick with a, with a phone on it and they want to be a part of it even though I don't want to film them, <laughs> like, at all. So, let's see if I got some more messages in the chat. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll read the last couple messages and then I'm going to wrap it up to tend to my daughter because she's upset right now. I need to comfort her. Gallery says, hi, your videos were helpful. Hope you're doing well. Love from India. Mwah. Much love right back at you from the United States. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> Sai Suni says, hey, sir, may I know why you lost consistency in posting videos? Because your past five-year videos have much more views and likes than now. Yeah, it's kind of a personal, um, that's kind of a personal reason. Um, I'm not really at liberty to discuss why I've had long periods of time where I haven't uploaded anything. Um, perhaps in the future I might be comfortable answering that question, but right now I'm going to pass on it. Um, Ansh says, I'm from India. My group bunk school class, and I see your video, then see your videos. Cool. Great. Uh, Arjun C says, hey, Ben, your videos really helped for my exams. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Really, really um, appreciate it. And um, if you guys want to show monetary support, you are highly encouraged to, to do so in the form of a super chat. Um, although, maybe save it for the next stream because I... Uh, I'm about to wrap it up here. It's, this is when it's course. My daughter's upset. And we need to go home. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, new video coming. Seems like a first one. All right. Goodbye.